Hello everyone, this is David Fraser with Slaver Games coming back to you for a small tutorial uh, about importing a solid pit object. It's a custom mod that I found online for helping to create maps. Now, um, there are solid pits that are related to the biogas area as well as there's a solid pit I believe with the cow zone but today um, I'm going to show you how to make a little solid pit area that works perfectly it's just a place to store to make solids and a way place to way to put it anywhere in your map and it works perfectly now um, solid pits act independent of most uh, zones they, they're not really included in the hierarchy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just show you here real quick uh, how to place some of these and test them out now um, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and pull the streets here Open. Now we're going to go over here to where we were at. Okay. Now, if you remember, this this uh, area was at um, 178. So let's go up to the replace. Change that to 178. Okay, then um, replace is the middle mouse button. So we're going to click. Oops, I forgot. You have to be up here in terrain sculpt mode. And I changed that to square. And let's, let's extend this area some over this way. I'm pushing the middle mouse button. Just like it's set, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's expand it over this way a little bit. Okay. Make sure we go back and forth over here so it's nice and flat. Okay, and there we go. Go out of terrain sculpt mode. Okay. Now, the first things we're going to do is we're going to import the model. Now, you can find the model inside the description for the video here. And since I've showed you many times how to import it, what you're going to do is you're just going to download it, extract it, put, um, put the mod in your custom model folder, and then um, you should be to where I am now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and make a uh, transform group. So we're going to go straight, transform group, come down here, change that to solid pitch. Now, this one's not going to have many attributes because you can base them all off of zero. And you can push Control B to put them wherever you want. So, let's go ahead and hit enter. Now we have solid pitch down here. Now that is also based off the zero of the map. And so the solid pits are pretty basic. Um, you're not, we're actually, you can, everything you put around a solid pit, you can add that to a different transform group. But it's always okay for your solid pitch to have um, to be able to move them around independently um, and have nothing attached to them um, unless you want to move a whole area. And we're not going to be doing that today. So Okay, so we got this area. There's two different things we're going to do. Once you got the model imported, uh, um, downloaded and put into your custom model folder from the one in the description. You're going to go to File, Import, Best Starter Map, Map, Models, 
custom models. And see, I don't have it here. I forgot to grab it out of another folder. But I have it in another one, so I'll copy it over. So let's go back to mods. Hometown USA. Map. Models. Custom models. And let's do salad blades. Okay, double solid blade. Now I have this split up into two. When you get the mod, it's gonna have, it's gonna say like solid duo. It's this is gonna be in German, and I just redid the names into English names. We're going to be working with the double silo today. So you're going to find, go into double, double silo and it, this is what you're going to find. The Fariso si, for Fair Silo Doble, I think that means si, silo double thing. So you're going to pick that one and click open. Okay, now what that's going to do is in that, it's going to load all the, everything that you need the hierarchy of the solids pit now if you look at the solids pit here it has two silos it has the tip triggers it has the moving planes it's got the, all the compacting triggers it has everything built in to this model so it's really a good model to work with what i did was i uh, went ahead and if you go up here to the name i just hit, name it as a double silo Okay, now that is right here is based um, off the center of the world. So what you, we're going to do is we're going to click, click that because it's right down, it's down there. So we're going to click on, the, on it, edit, cut, click on the solids pitch, edit, paste. Okay, now that's all based off of that. Now, just say we want our silo right up here. You can click on double silo. Click control B and click here. Okay, so now you have this one as your parent group. So you can select all silos under this. Then this is your double silo that you just created. So here we go. You'll take this, and that is what the custom model looks like. Now, in game, it's not going to have this uh, little bubble thing over it. It's going to be set to the game start um, settings when you start the game. This is just a visualization of what it looks like in the editor. It's not going to look like that in game. Now, I did notice when I imported it on the test try that it did put it a little bit above the ground. So what you want to do is you want to click on Double Solid Pit, and here's the numbers. Um, we're going to go ahead and take these funky numbers off, the decimal points off the end. For these. Okay. Now um, we're going to go ahead and um, it has to go down. So let's, let's go to 70 maybe no that's too far okay let's try 177.5 okay now it is in the ground a bit but it looks like it's a little bit too far down so if you go to the widget you can do it do the fine tune tuning you go up to where it's not going above the ground But it's um, this lip is still showing, so it looks like that the habit completely on the ground is going to be about let's try 177.8, nope, 0.9. It's all fine tuning here because all these models are custom. Now we're gonna click off of everything and that's your solids pit. Now, these, now if you start 
the game and try this out, they are going to be um, able to be, you can dump grass, you can dump sh sh um, shaft into these tanks, and they will uh, be able to um, make solids, they, the blankets work, everything like that. Now, to test this out, the best thing to do is you always want to test something out on game. So I'm going to show you something really fast, and this is only t for testing purposes. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to go up here to the ter um, Terrain Info, no, not to that, that one. Terrain Detail, Texture, Paint Mode, click on that. You're gonna you're gonna see this square here. You can roll to make it bigger or smaller. So let's just put it right there, about that size. Let's do 13. Okay. So you can come down here and where it says Texture Layer Painting, you're gonna click on Dirt, and you're gonna find this spot and you're gonna click. Okay. Now, this is one thing I did want to show you. Up here, because we changed this hardness values, um, it's going to paint it a little bit, so you're going to have to like click, 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 click a bunch of times like this to make it come in because of the hardness and the value being really soft. So just click, 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 click until it's like totally there. Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're gonna, gonna go ahead and unclick this one and then click on Terrain Folders Paint Mode. You're gonna come down here to Folders Layer Painting and you're gonna switch it to Grass. Okay, you're gonna put the X right over where you made the dirt and click. Now, if you go ahead and go down here and look, there's nothing. You know why there's nothing? It's because we didn't set up what channel, it, the channel for it. We want fully grown gra uh, mobile grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on these, these numbers 4 through 7 is what determined the growth stage. Now, I do have in my tools, I, I found the actual um, foliage um, number list. Now, go cut the models. Nope, I'm sorry. I haven't found it yet. I have usually go to my, th there is a forum post on FSUK. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to, I'll put the link in the description as well. Okay, in this topic here, you look and it'll say all the states for all the fruits. The wheat, the barley, the rape or canola, the, the corn, the potato, sugar beet, the grass, and dry, dry get grass, which is like just the windrows, um, as this windrow. It also shows you how when you place fields and everything. I'll put this link in the description. But you don't have to worry about this right now. We're just doing this to test out um, the solid pits. But a good thing to do is make a, a favorite of this on your desktop. And I'll put that in, in the description here. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to paint down... Um, the actual fully grown 
um, grass. So if you go here, and let's go ahead and go go over here and come out with some. We're gonna fully grown grass. If you look at that that um, information and now on that topic, um, we're going to uh, fully harvest full grown grass is six. So it's gonna be one for grass, six for fully grown. You're gonna go above your square, and you're gonna left mouse button. Okay, now you see here, we just planted full grown grass. Now the reason why it does look kind of sparse out like this is because it's used to you painting on this over here. And so it kind of blends in and makes it look more like grass. There's also other textures you can get. Um, custom textures. This is the one that just comes with the basic mod map. This is the sample map. Um, and we all learn how to change the textures of certain paintable stuff in the future. So there's your grass. Okay. Now, um, so now we have a, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the foliage paint layer. Now we have a solid pitch, a little grass field to mow. Now here comes the fun part. For testing purposes, um, I always kind of show how to uh, do certain stuff. So, um, I'm going to give you a line to copy and paste in the description. That's going to be this line here. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your mods. I'm taking this because I saved it in a custom map that I'm making. But I'm going to give you the line um, to put in there. But it is, um, if you go into your mods folder, see, let, let me show you this. If you go into your best star map folder, your main folder, you'll have one that says default vehicles. Now, when you double click on that, you're going to get um, something that looks like this. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to open it up. When you click the XML, it's going to try to open it up in, in, in your like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. To change this, what you're going to do is you're going to need to download Notepad++. That's what, what this is. And... Um, I'll put that link in the description as well um, um, for an op the download for that. And then when you go when you go to here, you're gonna right click, go open with, and it should be you, you might have to navigate to it like um, go to choose default programs. Um, it won't be up here, so you have to go browse, and then go to um, find out where it installed. See, this is my regular programs folder, so you go into 32-bit version, Notepad++, and Notepad++ right there, and and then push open. And have this always set right here. Always use a selected program to open this kind of file. So you set it to Notepad++ and you click OK. And see, there it goes. It'll open it up inside that and it'll look like this. Now, if you look through all these right here, this is the this is what it looks like for... It's the default vehicle map for the main um, Hagenstad map as well as the the st uh, best starter map folder where it has the golf carts and everything like in the original map now um, what we gotta do is uh, we're gonna find um, the little it's called like the profile hopper 
little drivable lawnmower. So what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to go ahead and extend this out. And then I'll go into the one that I have already modified. Okay. So if I go into this one, you see this line that's highlighted right here? This line right here that's highlighted is the exact line that you need to add to this list. I added it to the top of the list. And it has to be indented exactly where these are. And this, what this does is this adds the little rideable lawnmower to the game. Now, this position right here of X position and Z position is where it's on your map. So, what we're going to, in order to find out where yours is, because you're, you're going to make, um, you're going to make your map differently than, than mine. You're going to come back into the Giants Editor. You're going to, where you want, this is the easiest way, where you want the, the actual lawnmower to be sitting. You're going to close all this out, make sure nothing is selected. Go to Create Transform Group. It's just going to create um, another transform group like this. And go here and put Lawn Mower Marker. And click Enter. Now you're going to take this, and this is just a point in space. It doesn't have any um, information attributed to it. So you're going to take that, you're going to push Control, Control B, and click here. Now what it does is it takes this lawnmower marker and it puts it right there. Now I have this funky stuff here. Um, we're going to change this to 178. Um, we're going to change this to negative 200. And that's change this to 228. Just round it off to the closest numbers. Okay. So now that's where that marker is right here. Now this negative 200 and this um, negative 228 is your X and your Z that you're going to have in your notepad. You're going to have this X right here and this Z. So what we're going to want to do is, you, okay, now I'm copying it from here. I push control C. Okay, now you're going to be copying it out of the description. So just highlight it in the description and copy it. Okay. I'm just getting it from here. Okay. Now I'm going to go into... You're going to go to... Best Utter Map. Map. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my bad. Best Utter Map. Default vehicles. Now, if you've opened this up um, before, um, what you're going to do is you're going to do the right click and then open with and then go to the notepad that you downloaded from the description after you installed it. So um, it's going to pop up with something like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the end of this line here and push enter. It's going to go right there. You push control, um, paste it in there, and you're gonna remember you, the one, the X position and the Z position are gonna be different between what I do and what you do. So um, the num, I'm gonna put like three X's right here and three X's right here um, in the profile comment because those are the ones you need to change. So we're going to go back to the Giants Editor, and right that point right there is negative 200, 228. So we're going to go in here, 
and change this one here to negative 200. And this one right here, let me jump back really quick, to positive 228. So this one right here is going to be 228. Okay, now we're going to make sure, oh sorry, these are my other ones I had opened up. Okay. Which, so you got x, x position negative 200, z position 228. You're going to go ahead and go up here and click save. And exit, exit out. Now, what's going to happen is when you start this inside the game, you're going to have the... Um, you're going to have the mower right here. You're going to have a patch of grass right here. And you're going to have your solid pit right here. But it won't look like this. It'll look like it's empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. Save. Okay, now save it. Go ahead and make that smaller. You can go ahead and exit that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to Farming Simulator. Go to Career. Um, go to Pick a Save Game. Uh, same Game, Empty Save Game. Huh? Click Start. It's so easy. Um, you're going to have the best starter mag for Giants. Click start. Mine look a little different, just ignore that. Um, plus this right here is going to say best Giants map. It's going to be exactly like this. Okay, once you start the map, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff happen. You're going to see vehicles falling all over the place. Um, because, see, it tries to put them there. So what we're going to do is get... Yeah, because these are set on the... It's kind of funny, because these are set on the base, uh... Like, uh... The base, uh, location. They're going to be all over the place. At least this one ended up up here where your map was, where your roads are. But we're, we're, keep pushing tabs until you get to the lawnmower. So this is what, what we are doing in game. So, we go here. There's our grass field that we just made. Let's go ahead and cut a little bit of grass here.
that you put in your game, just slap it in the editor, and there's a place for somebody to make solids. For a player to make solids. I do like here that if you, like, are in the middle here, it does overlap. If you look up in the top left corner, it shows the compacting for each one. So just say you go around, fill it, and then you want to fast forward, you fast forward time for the ferment, and you can see both of them when they're done. So, uh, that's my tutorial for today. I am sorry that it's confusing. So in, in the description of the video, you're going to have the download for um, this mod for the solid pitch. You're going to have the download for uh, the Notepad++. Plus Plus. And you're going to have the, the description to copy and paste to put the lawnmower in the game. So, um, the next tutorial I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do something based on the cow zones and the sheep zones and the chicken zones. Now, it might be a week or so till I get that one done because of the fact that that's long and extensive. And there's, there's really a lot of parts of a cow zone and it has to be made perfectly or it won't, it won't work in game. You won't be able to buy cows and stuff like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. And um, go ahead and experiment with placing these around the map. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, where we painted this grass here like this on the thing. If you go in game, you cannot, even this low, this looks like grass here. You can't paint grass on it because it's the actual model. They just use the same texture to kind of match in with the ground. Um, it's a little expanded, but like that. You can put bushes like along the, these scenes or like tree or different trees and stuff to make it look more natural like it's blending in. Um, up up on, on top of here, you just have to move the model up into place and stuff. All right, so um, that's our tutorial for today. Um, go ahead, play around, um, if you want to cut, cut some grass, um, fill, fill her up to about 10%, and then, um, the fill up and then blanket it up, you'll see the blanket works and everything, so. Well, that's, um, solid pitch for today, um, and thank you for watching this tutorial, and keep mapping and keep playing.